Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we are discussing integrations with Logic App. Today in this video, we will discuss how to use the liquid maps in your Logic App integrations. Today, we will create a new integrations in our Visual Studio code with Logic App standard and will use a liquid map. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching Piolona. First of all, let me show you the problem statement we have, which we are trying to resolve with our Logic App integration. So we have an open source GitHub API, which we are using to get the list of repositories available within this particular organization. So if I click send on this particular Postman request, then I'll get a response as in this is a response we are receiving it from the GitHub API. If I open this particular response JSON into a Notepad++, I can see that we have total, in total, there are 29 records. Now, what I want to do is, I would like to extract some of the field using the liquid maps from this particular JSON response. As you can see that the JSON response contains so many fields but i'm not interested in all of these i am just interested in some of the fields from this response data and this response data is multiple records which means that it is returning as an array or a collection of record and from this collection i'm just interested to return some records what records i'm interested in let's say i have a liquid map let's say i would like to receive an output like this. I am interested in the name of the repository, repository description, URL, when it was created, and when it was last time updated. So this is the only four output or the five output attribute I am interested in. Now for that, what we have done is we have used the Shopify liquid map templates which we are using to map this source data, which is this one, to the destination data. So this is the template definition where we are using a for loop on the source data and we are mapping out of those source information, we are just mapping these five fields, right? Now, how do you use these integrations in this liquid map in the integration? How do you use this liquid map or run this liquid map in your Visual Studio code locally or how do you debug that? We have already seen our previous video. So if you would, if you are interested to know how do you debug that, I highly, I, I highly recommend to watch my previous video. Now moving ahead, I would like to create a new logic app and I'm going to use this liquid template there. For this, I'm using this liquid map demo folder and I'll go ahead and create a new project. I'll click here, create new project. It will ask for the repository location in my system. I'll select the default folder location. Then it will ask for the stateful or stateless workflow type and the name of the workflow. So I'll keep the workflow as workflow name is liquid demo I'll press enter and that will create my logic app project in three step as you can see here at the right side the project definition is ready so we have as always we have got a visual studio code which has number of JSON file launch setting and task JSON which is a standard procedure. We have got an artifact and in that, inside the artifact, we got the maps and schema. Maps is the folder where we will upload our liquid map template. This is our workflow, which is a liquid demo workflow, which we have given name as, and these are the some default host.json and local settings.json file. Now, this is our JSON file for my workflow.json. I'll Oh, go, I'll right click on this particular file and open in designer so that we can define the designer for the workflow. While it is opening the workflow, what I'll do is I'll copy that liquid map template and I'll paste it here. 
it is asking for do you want to use the connector from azure or you want to skip it for now so i'll click this option skip it for now so before we start what i'll do is i'll copy the liquid map and for that i'll open the location in this folder paste this basically so my liquid map file is available now so what i will do is we'll define the trigger for our logic app so for this demonstration i'm going to define a recurrence trigger remember that we are designing our logic app workflow in our local machine on our visual studio code not on azure portal now next thing what we are going to do we are going to call an HTTP response, right? Or HTTP call. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a call to that GitHub API. So I'll select the method type as in get. I'll go to the Postman. I'll use this URL, which we were using in Postman. I'll enter the same URL using the parameters. So what I'll say, I'll define a parameter and call it as a get GitHub and type is going to be a string I'll provide this URL this is my parameters ready and now I'm going to use this particular parameter so this is the parameter we are going to use there is no other information requires because it is a open source API URL which can return the response without providing the details like what is the authentication type or header and so and so on so that should return the response I can change the name as in get the repo. Next, what we are going to do, we will return and store the response into a compose field. So I'm going to use the body field of the get repo operation as in compose field. So that will have the data so that we can view the data. Next, what we are going to do, we'll add an action and action type is going to be liquid operation and when you select the liquid type operation as I mentioned in my previous video you could have the multiple option to transform the data from JSON to JSON, JSON to text, XML to JSON or XML to text so we are going to use the JSON to JSON option here you need to provide the content which is a source content which you would like to use for the transformation so i'm going to use this particular output of the compose because we have our data in the output field now the source is going to be either logic app or the integration service as we are using the logic app so i'll keep this logic app option as is next it is going to ask for the map so let's see if you have a map available currently we do not have any map available the reason for that is because we have copied the file in the map folder but this particular liquid map designer is not loaded after that so what i need to do is i need to reload this particular design so i'll just delete this because i won't be able to save it i'll save the remaining part and what i will do is i will reload the designer again so that it loads the mapping file or the liquid map so i'll re perform the same action again liquid template json to preview content is going to be the same content and this time if you see we have a map loaded so i'm going to select this map that will return the response we'll keep the response again into a same compose so that we, you can review it and the output of this transformation step so that we, we will say it as in response And that's it now we are ready to test this particular liquid template before you test this you need to remember two things first is in your local start setting you should have the azure with storage as in use development storage equals to true option enabled and also you need to use the azure right on your machine so for example these are the option which you need to run so I, in my other Visual Studio instance, I need to restart the, it seems like I need to restart my 
liquid map template or my azurite extension so what i'll do is i'll close the azurite from this visual studio instance and then i'll restart again as you can see it has already been closed out and i'll restart again if you look at at the right side all these three blob service table service and queue service are getting started and we have these many files which are being created now any action which you will perform on your uh, function app project or logic app project it will be captured here on these json files so let's see if we are able to run this liquid map or the logic app project now to have a launch.json file updated I'll save this all right let's run this now so now it's running so the problem is we need to have the launch settings working correctly so now it's trying to start my host function so our logic app function or our logic app code is successfully uh, run now the run has started now as you can see it is debugging and it started to view the debug instance or to view the history of the run what you can do is you can right click here on the same workflow and click on the overview section so if you click on overview that will show the the instances which it it has run As we have just run for the very first time so that has got only one instance so if i click here on this particular historical instance that will show the overall data so that's the run which has been triggered on our local machine so if we go to the this particular step which is reading it from the data live from the github rest api and this is what the response we have got we are storing the response as an array to the compose step and so this is the exactly same response which i've show you shown you in the notepad and after that we are performing the transformation of the json using the liquid map so we have given the input to the input as a compose to our liquid map the map name and this is what the response we have got and finally we have captured the response into this particular type so now if i expand as an raw output you would see that the output of our liquid map template which is what we needed to use and this is a very very easy and clear step to be performed in the logic app using the liquid map and the xml transformation step and this is what we have tested in our local machine right here from the Visual Studio code without deploying into the Logic App instance. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.